Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Guru Mat Guides, where I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to escape on the USS Anomaly. Now there are three things, technically four things, you're going to be needing for this escape. First, you're going to be needing a screwdriver. Now the screwdriver will get you through the vents. you got to make sure that you don't uh, get caught, but it's pretty easy because none of the guards ever like going through there. Uh, the other two things, I already have a duct tape and a roll of foil. This will allow me to construct a contraband pouch. Unfortunately, I do need to make sure that my intelligence is all the way up to 60 before I can do that. So, after we find our goodies, we're going to hopefully discover a, a... There we go, there we go. A screwdriver is exactly what we need. We are all set to escape quickly and safely. Now, you need to make sure you hit roll call. You cannot have any contraband on you. And for this next bit, we're going to be leaving all of our things in our contraband drawer because we're going to be going through the metal detectors. Now, I like to actually hit breakfast right here. There we go. Just so that we don't have to track back and hit it again. If you've watched any sort of streams, any sort of YouTube, any sort of... Uh, guide that deals with uh, the long term you're gonna notice this game comes up a lot and it's pretty important everyone starts off with raising intellect because it allows you to craft everything in the game and uh... well that's a really handy thing to have i'm making these guides from start to finish because i want to prove to you that i am doing this one hundred percent above board with no tricks now I will admit that I have restarted the game a couple of times where I just completely failed. There's no shame in that. Sometimes you're going to have to restart and do over. And uh, I'd like to apologize for this uh, dead air, this silence, this non-movement. At the time I had believed that uh, sitting and waiting for your energy to regenerate was faster than running back to the uh, showers and uh, showering there and then running back to what you were doing. Um, I had tested this just simply running on your feet and found that it was a little slower so I was like alright well we'll do this way. Um, but then later on I had forgotten that uh, to truly master speedrunning you need to use uh, the charge ability of your melee attacks and that will move you much quicker uh, over land so you will actually get to the showers shower all the way back and then run all the way back That'll be a bit faster. If you wanted to be very dangerous, you don't really technically need a contraband pouch. You can always uh, just try and your chance with the guards, and uh, but I, I definitely uh, do not recommend that. So it's job time, and thankfully we're already up here. So once we run totally out of energy, we'll just run over and we'll peek our head in. Let them know, hey, please don't look for us. We're not escaping. We're totally, uh, we're totally doing what you want us to. I don't even like to sit there. They yell at me for not doing things. I understand that if you take this time to skip ahead in the video and see whether or not where I uh, actually do anything interesting, but. To be fair, if you want to do a well in this game, patience is a virtue. We only need four intellect, but why am I uh, letting myself get energy? Well, we're going to be fighting afterwards, and that requires a lot of energy for our attacking and blocking. And the person we're going to be attacking, his name is Officer Bray T17. Now, why, am I, why would we attack this man? Well, he has a red key card. He will always be carrying the red key card if you use the default names in the game. Alright, we can now make ourselves a contraband pouch. We are all set to escape. Now, whether or not this is fast depends on how quickly we can isolate Officer Bray and, and destroy him. <laughs> make sure that he's down on the ground. We're going to be taking a red key and we're not going to be bothered about making a putty because we're immediately going to be escaping afterwards. Now first, we're going to go ahead and go into the contraband desk. Hmm. 
after job time, it's always free time. So we will not garner any stars, and even if we miss something else that's not roll call, it won't matter. We're not going to be here long enough. You might be wondering why I'm being quiet. I'm simply trying to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. There will always be a jack back in here, along with myriad things of contraband. I like to drop the vent covers up here because, well, it's fun. Now I make sure to make my pouch, and now we're set. Now, the only thing that hinges is making sure we find Officer Bray, and then fighting him. Unfortunately, we do not see Officer Bray in sight. But I know that he likes to spawn in this area. He will often come from over this direction. And uh, often Officer Bray does leave himself open to attack. Because uh, they realize that players are going to be needing the red key often. Officer Bray, where are you? Unfortunately. It appears this is one of the times where I cannot immediately locate him, but he will spawn. Just have patience. I do these videos from start to finish without any sort of editing to let you know that I'm on the up and up. When I mean it's fast and it's a complete walkthrough, this is a fast and complete walkthrough. I'm doing these escapes, and there's Officer Bray. Thankfully, it looks like he's walking in a location that we want him to. Unfortunately, he's making a wrong turn, but maybe he'll come this way. Please, Officer Bray, come on. Come. Yes, this is absolutely perfect. This is where we want him. If you get the first hit, often you can get him by surprise. Knock him down quickly. You want to get sure you get his uniform? You don't really have to. I'll be honest. You need the red key, but you're not going to worry about the putty because you're going to be escaping really quickly. If you did not have the contraband pouch, you'd be tripping that, and those dogs would get you. But there you have it. The fastest escape on the US is an anomaly that I know of. I hope that you guys will use this to good benefit, and I look forward to seeing you on the leaderboards.